myself is C L Rathod, assistant professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today we are going to start a second problem that is orthographic projections of simple object. At the end of this lecture, student will be able to draw the orthographic projections of simple object. So this is the simple object I have taken for the second problem. So for this one, we have to draw the orthographic view of a given diagram. So from this one, we have to draw the front view. We have to draw the top view. And you can see here, this is the diagram. So when we see from the x direction, so this is from, we are seeing the from the x direction or from right side we have to see from this di diagram. So for this one we have to draw the front view in this area. Here is we have to draw the front view and here we have to draw the top view and this side we have to draw the side view. So here we are interested to draw the front view and side view. For this one when we see from the x direction you will going to see the base, base of the front view is 75 mm. So in this, this, in this one, 25 mm, 25 mm, 25 mm, three blocks will be drawn first when we see from the front. And here also you are going to see this portion, that is trapezoidal portion we are going to see. So here, when we see from the front, fr in the x direction, you are going to see this direction. Here, when we see from the x direction, you are going to see the this portion and this portion and this portion and this trapezoidal portion we will going to see when we see from the front. So first what we have to do, we have to take the 75 mm, so 25 mm, 25 mm, three block we have to draw and here the trapezoidal diagram we will going to draw in the front view. Now first we will going to take this, when we, in order to draw this diagram we require the reference lines that is x, y and x1, y1 and you can see here I have written front view base is equal to top view base, front view height is equal to side view height and top view height is equal to side view base. So here front view base is 75 mm so we are going to take the 75 mm is the base so here I have to take the 75 mm is the base and so 25, 25, 25, three blocks I have to draw and their height is here you can see 12 mm is given the height. So you can see here is the 12 mm it is given. So from this one I have to draw the 12 mm. This is the 12 mm block I have to draw. So this is the 12 mm. And in this one, I have to divide this 75 into 3 blocks of 25 mm each. So I am going to take 25 mm here, another 25 mm here and 75 mm. So now I have to join this all the 3 blocks. So this is the height 12, 12 mm and this is the 75 mm. So when we see from the x direction, the height of this front view is 12 plus 12 plus 25, that is 37 is the height of the your this given diagram. So now I have to take from 12 and here from 25 I have to take. So total is 37 height I have to consider for this diagram. And when we see from this one, when we see from the x direction, this trapezoidal figure you are going to see here and in this one you can see 25 by 20 block I have to draw. So for this one, so from this I have to draw the 20 mm block and you can see, so this trapezoidal diagram, it is not touching to the left side of the block. So from this one you can see this is the here from from here it is 20 mm is the 
len so i have to take from this point left side corner of the diagram to i have to take 20 m 25 mm sorry 20 mm i have to take so i have to take 20 mm from this one so this is the 20 mm and then i have to join this trapezoidal diagram so now you can see here when we see from the front in the x direction we have drawn the 25 mm 3 block and this trapezoidal diagram now so i have to mention the dimensions of each block so now from this one so this is the 75 mm total length is base is 20 uh, 75 mm and this is the 25 in this one so i have to draw this 25 each side so from this i have to take these three blocks of 25 mm each and you can see here its height is 12 mm so from this one i have to draw the 12 mm so this is the 12 mm block 20 12 mm i have to uh, drawn 12 mm by 25 mm and from this one it is 25 mm is the height so i have to draw the 25 mm from the 12 mm base so this is the 12 mm now when we see from the front this block 20 mm we have to draw here so this is the dimension for this block of so 20 mm now so we have completed the front view now in order to draw the top view so what i have to do i have to take the projection of all the points so here i have to take the all the projection from this and so these are the projectors we have drawn and from this one also this point from this point i have to take the projector now 75 mm is the base of the top view so here is the 75 mm i have to take so this is the 75 mm top view of the base and height of this object is 50 mm so i have to take 50 mm on both side so here 50 mm i have to draw this 50 mm and from this also i have to take 50 mm and i have to complete this block of 75 by 50 mm so in this one i have to complete the the top view when we see from the top you will going to see that so this portion you will going to visible this portion you will going to visible when we see from the top and this complete block you will going to visible when we see from the top view now so what is the dimensions of this one so when we see from the top you will going to see this block is at the right side of the corner so so you can see here 20 mm is the block so i have to draw the 20 mm block of 25 so i have to take 20 mm from this so this is the 20 mm block i have taken so from this also i have to take the projector and now so i have to take 25 mm from this top right corner i have to take 25 mm and i have to complete the block of that one that is here 20 and then this is the 20 mm by 25 mm block i have to taken and drawn at the right side corner of the our block now when we see from the top you will going to see 25 mm by this block of 20 mm so i have to extend this up to this point so here i have to extend this one this is the block of 25 by 20 mm block i have drawn and when we see from the top we are going to see here this block we have to draw 
this and this block we have to see when when we see from the top you will going to see this one is the uh, slot we have to show here so from this one 25 then 12 then 25 then 12 then 25 so like that i have to take here so here is the 25 mm so up to 25 mm i have to draw then 12 mm from this i have to draw and then from this i have to draw the 12 mm from this one and up to 25 mm i have to complete this one so this is the top view when we see from the top you will going to see this block and now we are going to dimension all the dim dimensions here you can see here so this is the 75 mm and base of this height of this side uh, top view is 50 mm and you can mention here it is the 12 mm and you can see here this dimension is the 25 mm now pause the video and think that when we see from the side view which one is the part is is not visible here I think you understood the things when we see from the side view so you will going to see this portion you will going to see and this portion you will going to see and one more th thing it is not visible here this line is not visible so for that one we are going to draw the dotted line so these are the references i have taken for this uh, simple drawing engineering graphics by sri thakur dinesh singh mahalakshmi publication house thank you